Well, the internet has been a big thing in our society, right? So in the last 15, 20 years, it really revolutionized almost everything that's going on in our world. And then came crowdfunding or crowdsourcing and getting free money on the internet. Now that's just in the beginning stages and that's about to have a big change in our society for ways of getting money. Now there's a third idea too that I think is really changing and it's yeah, well, changing the world, really. <laughs> that idea isn't changing because it's here already. But very few people are taking advantage of it, and that's 3D printing. And, man, if you don't have a 3D printer now, you will soon, <laughs> or you're going to be used someone else's soon. And I'm going to show you an interview with a fellow who lets you use other people's 3D printers. Now, what's a 3D printer? It makes stuff. It can make this. It can make your vase like this. You know, I just noticed on our stove, we have a knob that's screwed up on the a stove. So, we didn't get a new one. Instead of going to the manufacturer, I could print it out on a 3D printer for like a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. You know, fifty dollars is a lot of money. And you can make it instantly. And what's happening to make those kind of products or whatever, um, and I just thought of something. Somebody then went, you can even make shoes. That's right. So I can go, oh, I need orange shoes to go to this office outfit, you know. <laughs> I can generate my 3D printer and print myself a pair of orange shoes for tonight. Now, how cool is that? So that's what's happening. But now, see, a lot of people, and they're only like a thousand bucks or so, 1200 bucks to get them. And, and you can make money with a 3D printer because other people want things printed. And if you get one of these things and learn how to do it, then there's a website that people could go on and say, hey, I need orange shoes, or hey, I need this little gadget, or uh, hi, I, I need a, uh, a new you know, sofa for my kid's dollhouse or something like this, or a part for my machine to run my lawnmower or whatever it is. All these kinds of things to be able to make with a 3D printer instantly. And this is a collection, this interview you're gonna have, of, of people who have 3D printers, it's a platform, and in other words, a website. You put in your zip code and you find out who in your neighborhood has 3D printers that are willing to print things for you. That's right. And there's other people say you don't know how to do the graphics or, or how to print. There's other people to do that. So for like a hundred bucks you get it all done. You don't even have to know how to spell 3D printer <laughs> and to get these kinds of things done. And that's why it is, you know, all our manufacturing is going in China now because that's mass production. I think what's happening now in our society, mass production is over. You know, we all want unusual things. So producing a couple hundred, a couple thousand or whatever, you're not going to send it to China for that. You know, you want to do it here. And the cheapest, easiest way to do it here is with 3D printers. There's a guy I interviewed, you may have seen this interview, who, who has wine glass holders for your bathtub. <laughs> and what he does, he's going to this site that you're going to interview to have them all made. He's selling them on the internet and charging $15, $20. And he's saying, hey, anybody with the 3D printer could make one. I'll, I'll give you five, six, seven bucks or whatever it is. They're making money on it. He's getting it made. Yeah, you know, right in his own neighborhood. See, you could find it in your neighborhood and get this made in your neighborhood and walk across the street and get it or get in your car and go down the block or whatever it is to get it instead of waiting for Amazon to deliver things. See, it's really revolutionizing so much in our country and it's something you gotta watch. Maybe you're not gonna, you don't see an application for it now, but more and more applications will be there where you could use this thing. So this is a clearing house. Somebody's on the ground floor of organizing all the 3D printers. You put in your zip code and you find out who will sell you their time. And it's very cheap. It's like, you know, Kinko's copying something because you don't have a photocopy. Well, now there's a guy down the street who'll make it for you because you don't have your own 3D printer. So watch this. Well, Nathan Toad, yeah. <laughs> and you're the co-founder of Make XYZ, and you're going to get all the manufacturing that we send to China back here in the USA. <laughs> and we're going to become the national power or the international powerhouse for making stuff. And it's all because of 3D printers, right? <laughs> so I, how do people use you? What, what, what can we do to get involved in this stuff? Well, first, I think I should have you... Um be my sales guy from now on. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, it's just, we, we, we have to manufacture. That's what's going to create economic dilemma. There's only so much bullshit we can sell each other on Wall Street. You know? We got to start making something real. You know? 
And 3D printers puts that manufacturing down into the average place. Like I, I, I was interviewing, the way I found you was, was through someone who raised, you know, I, I forgot, $20,000, $30,000 to make wine glass holders for his shower room. And he says he's using you to manufacture it. He's not going to China. No, because he has a 3D printer. He's making them in his kitchen. He can't make them all. So he goes to your website and you got people in his neighborhood or around the world that are doing his production for him at a fraction of the cost too. Right. <laughs> so I, yeah, I think that that's a really, really great story because our goal at Make XYZ is to help people make things, whether that be something you're making at home or something that you're selling to the end consumer. Uh, and the shower caddy is a really good example of that. It's something unique and interesting that anyone, anyone that people didn't realize they want, but now they want. Yeah. And um, um, we we help. Well, we we're helping him make that. <laughs> but it, it, it's so many ways. I mean, I could be sitting here at home, but and one thing is that you're sort of like a, people know B uh, <laughs> Airbnb. By the way, I heard of another one for the. Um, in uh, New Orleans, through the, when Mardi Gras, they had Air P and P, <laughs> and it was a place, an app where if you had to go to the bathroom because all the public bathrooms, were, <laughs> you put your how, the bathroom in your house, you you get ten bucks for a couple of people coming. To, uh, anyway, uh, so <laughs> but you go on your site. If I want, let me see. I could be at home and I want a little doll mm -hmm. thing for my kid's dollhouse. You know, and I could go on your site, put in my zip code, so I know some guy down the street there will pop up who makes these things. It could make it. I mean, it costs hardly nothing to make it. Or what, five, ten bucks or something like that on, on mm -hmm. the printer. And then, uh, then someone else could help you design the thing if you don't know anything about it. <laughs> and you could literally walk down the street and get this <laughs> magic little toy for your kid. Right, right. right. <laughs> Right. Wow. So we, have, we have thousands of different 3D printers signed up in 65 different countries. and we How many to, thousand again? Uh, How we have many printers? 3D printers signed up uh -huh. in 65 plus different countries. Wow, 65. And uh, just, just like you said, that was actually the reason that we, we started Make XYZ is uh, we were doing a 3D printing project ourselves, and it was a light switch cover with a hook on the bottom. So you uh -huh. could walk in the door, leave your keys on the hook, and, uh, and uh, never forget your keys. But our 3D printer was down at the time, so we had to sh mm. sh ship our part to a, a centralized factory, and it took a long time to get. When there was, like you said, certainly someone down the block with a 3D printer, we just didn't know who they were. Uh, so we decided to tackle that from, from the software side, and out of that frustration came Make XYZ. <laughs> well, actually, I mean, you, you're, you're creating quite a stir already. I mean, you, you got some big fat cap venture capitalists putting money into you now because they really see this, and these are people who are always looking for the next hot thing. So they're not wasting their money, that's for sure. And, and, and it just makes so much sense. But also, I think your place is a great place for people who are thinking about PhD. Okay, I'm a guy, I sort of like make things, I don't know anything about uh 3d printers but they're only like 1300 bucks now you get one and you're a place i could go and get back the money i invested in this thing right i just put registering for free right, right. on your website because i i went and i put my zip code in there man i got dozens and dozens and dozens of people within you know my scooter distance i drive a scooter <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that i could pick up stuff for and you don't right. even know, have to know the software stuff because you have people on your site that could help you figure that out if you don't know any mm -hmm. of that. Right, so, so you can make, use Make XYZ in a couple of different ways. If you have a, a 3D file that's ready to be printed, you can go on to Make XYZ and find someone quickly to print that for you. Oftentimes, if you submit your order in the morning, you can get it that afternoon. Wow, also, Amazon's gonna love that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So also, if, if, you have, if you don't know how to do 3D design or you don't really know where to get started, you can show up and make XYZ with an idea. It's just, mm. hey, you know, I'm really interested in getting this uh, uh, iPhone case designed. I have this idea, but I have no idea where to start. Our community of makers on Make XYZ is there to help you. Do and that do you out. have a sense of, okay, let's take that I iPad holder or something like iPhone holder, and you want to, you know, something jazzy you want to do on that. So what? Average is that tens of dollars, hundreds of dollars, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars just to help design something like that. 
Uh, so I mean, it's going to depend on the complexity. Yeah. If you're if you're designing something with moving parts and many different parts, mm -hmm. it could be you know hundred or two hundred dollars. If it's something oh. simple like an iPhone stand, you know, maybe it might take someone an hour to do. So twenty twenty dollars. Wow! So, oh, yeah. so, well, you, you, both those prices are very, very reasonable <laughs> compared to the technology. You know, I mean, so I mean, so for two hundred dollars, I, I could get something designed, and, and for less than maybe fifty dollars, I could have it made and <laughs> have yeah. one of a kind, and then see, and then put it on the internet and see if anyone will buy this sucker, right? And, and if people say, "Yeah, this looks cool," then you'll get a uh, hundred of these people doing this every day for you. Right. God, whoa. I mean, isn't that terrific? See, my dad was in the garment business. You know, he had a big factory and, and sewing machines and all this kind of stuff. You know, in the new age like this, wow, you make one sample. So this is the way to do it. You have an idea for a product. You go on, you know, uh, make XYZ and make your one sample. Go on a crowdfunding site to see if anybody buy this stuff. And so you invest a maximum couple hundred bucks and mm -hmm. maybe you get a couple million. <laughs> right. And the worst that, case is you lose that, a couple hundred. That's what's been really uh, interesting to us is it's make XYZ has been a really good window on the ways that people are being yeah. creative. It's people who otherwise had this idea but never would have acted on it and yeah. instead are they're designing this iPhone case and then they're using make XYZ to easily prototype it and iterate through the different versions. And then once they're ready to sell it, using Make XYZ to, to be their production uh, arm. Yeah. Uh, and so that that's it's been really yeah. great to see what people are making and also to, to help people make this stuff. But more importantly, I think that now it's sort of like literature and everything that is so segment. You know, I mean, a small segment market. I mean, we used to only have three networks, right? Now we have umpteen thousand so the whole market of books you know we only printed so many but now we have hundreds of thousands or whatever so I think the same with products instead of making mass producing 10 million I mean you know we only need a 3,000 and that's a big enough market for a small guy who want to sell something you know right. and so this is the way to do it locally instead of trying to get 3,000 made in Japan <laughs> or China <laughs> or Japan that's all old school yeah uh, but China that and this is the growth of our country, I think, right here, making individual products like that domestically for niche markets or whatever, and you're supplying the factory. Everyone has a factory of 3,000 machines, you know, to make stuff for them through makexyz.com. <laughs> With no overhead, no management, no nothing problem. <laughs> Just a guy in his t-shirt down in Austin, Texas. Well, I, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you to do our commercials for us. <laughs> well, it's wonderful, though. I mean, I, I really am seriously enthusiastic. I, I would be that way if it wasn't. It's important. I think development is important. Doing something new because the, the, the world is changing so quickly, and most of us in this country have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> so, and it's young, bright people like you that do. You see the future, and that's why we have to hang on the coattails of people like you who are going to drag us there, whether you want it or not, <laughs> because it's because it's happening. <laughs> and you're taking us there, Nathan. Thank you so much for being there, and people that. Get involved, get one of these machines, and then you'll make money forever. You can quit your job when you have a maker machine, a 3D <laughs> printer. And the place to do that, makexyz.com. Great name. Thanks for having me. Okay, you bet. Take care. Okay, you're going to get one? They're cheap. <laughs> and they're going to get cheaper like everything else you know, in our society that goes. They become better, faster, cheaper, whatever, as we produce more of those. So that's a... Another hot new idea, and it's going to be there. My God, look at glasses. I only think this is now, well, good glasses I could do. <laughs> I already have 12 pairs upstairs. I don't know if my wife will let me have any more.